Hey guys, my name is Rodolfo Gutierrez. I go by Ro. I'm with Progression Technologies and I'm a tech support engineer. And I'm really excited to talk to you about this week's topic, which is how to edit or modify an existing route using the route add in tool. So, this is near and dear to my heart because whenever I was in the industry, I was in the manufacturing side of things, I didn't have this tool and we had to do all of this manually. So now with this tool, you'll see how quick and easy it really is and how much value it could add to your process, to your design process. So just really excited about that. Okay, so what is it? Uh, wh what are some of the benefits? The benefit for this video that you'll get is that in case you're new and you might be, um, you might have been tasked to edit this, um, I'll show you how quick and easy it is. Um, if you're new also, I'll show you some basics that you can take home with you. And also, let's say you're you're pretty excited about routing, but your whole department isn't too uh, much excited about it, or they haven't jumped on the bandwagon yet. Well, this is a great video to show how quick and easy it is to to modify things that'll help uh, help with the buy-in uh, in your department or your upper management. So here we go. So the situation is this: so Shane and I, who's a buddy of mine, we created this pipe routing. Well, we went up to our manager and she was like, no, I don't think so. This isn't going to fly. We need to have some more process piping that comes into these ports over here. Uh, we didn't connect our C pump. So we're like, oh, shucks. So she sends us this diagram that explains what we need to do. Okay, we need to do away with this section of the piping, add, uh, connect the C pump, add a T, add some elbows, and, and reroute it a little bit. So here we go. This is how we do it. First things first is we're going to make sure that our add-in for routing is turned on, it's active, which it is. Next thing is make sure you know where all of your fittings are, okay? So here we go. Now, uh, keep in mind there are three layers or three levels here, okay? We are on the, it, if there's any doubt at any point, you can uh, refer to your uh, status bar down here and it, it, it'll tell you where you're at. So right now I'm editing assembly, I'm inside of an assembly, and as you can see, there is a sub-assembly, but it's not an ordinary sub-assembly because it's a routing sub-assembly. And you can tell by the uh, little icon here. If we expand that, you'll see your components, okay, which are your, um, you know, your uh, elbows and your flanges and your T's and crosses and so on and so forth. And then there are your route parts, which are your pipes, pieces of pipes. And then there's your 3D sketch, which counts as a, as a route. Okay, so once we edit a route, we'll be going into the third layer, which is a 3D sketch. So we right click on here, edit route, and you'll see down here that we'll be editing a 3D sketch. Let's say we're done editing, we exit out, you exit out of the, the sketch, but you're still inside of your routing sub-assembly, okay? To get back all the way to the top level, we exit edit uh, in contest editing, and now we're back in the top level assembly, okay? So how do we edit this? It's really, really, really simple, okay? We need to modify, right click, edit the route, okay? Inside the route, so inside of the 3D sketch is where you would drag and drop your component. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add a slip-on flange. Here we go, drag and drop, point to it. It's gonna be a four inch, hit okay. You know you were successful when you have a nice little stub. There we go. So now we have this inside of the route, okay? The next thing that I like to do is, let's go back, control tab. We're back to, the, to our diagram here, SketchUp. We need to add a T, break this up over here, so let's do that. So we're gonna go to our T's. I want a straight T, drag and drop that. Without letting it go, once it you'll feel you'll feel when it when it connects you can press the tab button um that your tab key on your keyboard and you'll see the different uh orientations of it okay let's say you want it here you accept it and you're like oh no 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 this is not where i want it no worries because it's tried we'll let you modify that look how simple and easy it is to to change the orientation of this t okay all right so now we need to split the section up so you can click on the line right click and split entities it's going to ask you where you want to split it i'm going to select this point here right click okay all right so now we can take this section 
and we can press the delete key and it's going to delete not only that section but it's it's connected uh, elbow so now we can drag this little guy over here to our right and I want to make sure that this is on my uh, I want to make this along the X okay so here we go so now we're gonna drop a line select our line select this point bring it along the X Y coordinate right click select see it automatically drop that elbow we didn't have to modify that or anything so you can select that select this point and merge points look how beautiful that is yellow elbow you're good to go it means you're doing a great job if you get a red or a gray uh, elbow it means that you either need to create oops oops oops, oops. you either need to create a uh, custom elbow or you're doing something wrong but that's besides the point here okay so now what we need to do is we need a uh, let's go back control tab to our PD of our, our sketch up here so we need to come this way and then bust a 90 and then go up 90 okay fantastic so I can select this line do away with it so now we just have this this stuff sticking out and I can select the line again or actually yes I can select this point I want it to go down on X Y except that beautiful I get a, a yellow elbow I'm gonna drag this section over yes that's fine you can't do that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab another piece of line let's see here yes from here well uh, inside of a 3d sketch let's say you're trying to um, you're in, you're in space right so SolidWorks does a very good job at, at, at kind of pointing you where you want to go if you uh, draw a line and you select the tab it takes you to different uh, planes like the ZX YZ so in this case um, I want to go on the YZ plane okay right click select so now we're gonna merge those two points select this point select that point merge beautiful look at that I got yellow elbows all across and that's exactly what we wanted to do control tab we added a T we changed the orientation we added some elbows we did some 90s here we came across I think we're done that's it's simple it's very very simple look how quick and easy that was that was that was awesome all right you can here you can start adding clearances you can add dimensions uh, so on and so forth you select once again you're in the sub assembly routing sub assembly level you select again and now you're on the assembly level and look at that look how beautiful that is so just, this is just a quick um, video to show you how simple and easy it is to modify a route and uh, and, 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 and and edit uh, edit a route so it's a, it's a really great tool it adds a lot of value uh, to your design process and I think uh, I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with it so once again this is Rudolfo from progression technologies see you next time